welcome back into Victoria's Tarot, and today we're going to take a step back into the Idaho 4 case. So we're going to ask the Tarot this. What can you tell us about the suspect who entered the house and unalived these four college students? What can you tell us about the entity that entered the house and unalive these four college students. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. It tells us about impatience. It tells us about a lack of reward. We have the Page of Pentacles, which tells us about learning something new. So I don't, whoever this is, I don't feel like they've done this to somebody before. I feel like this is a skill they're just learning. Four swords in the upright laid to rest is the outcome of learning that new skill. Can you tell me about the suspect who entered the house to unalive the whole four victims. What can you tell me about the suspect? Five of wands in the reverse. Five of wands in the reverse talks about avoiding conflict. The devil in the reverse. This is detachment or overcoming whatever it is you have issues with. So I feel like right here, this person is being impatient, but they're also trying to be undetected. We have the Knight of Swords in the upright, which talks about taking action. We have the Lovers in the upright. So I don't know who this person attacked first. I don't think we'll ever know the true facts of this case, but I'm seeing the lovers here being the first. The hangman in the reverse. That tells us about delays and stalling. The queen of wands. This is an attractive person, a social butterfly. This is someone who likes to be the center of attention, who's causing delays. <clears throat> All I know is there are two survivors that are female in this case, and nobody knows nothing, even though they were in the same house. But we have one woman popping up as causing delays. Three of Wands in the reverse tells us about the unexpected delays or lack of foresight. We have the Six of Swords in the upright, which talks about moving to calmer grounds, getting away from the situation. King of Pentacles. In the upright being the outcome. This is someone who's successful in life. Not much of a failure. I don't know about the rest of his personality. But he does okay. Ten of swords in the reverse. Which talks about recovering from a traumatic event. Something happening. Five of Cups in the reverse talks about moving on and healing. So at some point, this person became injured and they decided to get up out of there. But not before they took the lovers out. So, okay, I'll take it back. I honestly don't know who this person unalive first, but I can clearly see them taking action on his lovers and then leaving. So maybe they were the last. Nine of Swords in the upright. Anxiety, worry, fears. 
nightmares queen of cups there's another female this person that's worried they see something you see this owl in the door peeking in and this person is covering up they see something i don't know if he tapped her door and peeked in on his way out i'm seeing the cause of him fleeing to the the safer area is because of this woman she either saw him or he was worried about her seeing him and i don't even know how he knew she was there if nobody knows anybody here when it comes to this king of pentacles we have the fool in the reverse which talks about risk taking and those reckless recklessness the recklessness knight of pentacles in the reverse and feeling stuck so when it comes to that bottom of the deck six of pentacles this is a fair exchange i guess this person felt like this was a fair exchange so at the end of the day i'm still only seeing one person i see the two survivors we have the four of swords here confirming the victims but what's rubbing me wrong is this chick with the stalling and the delays and this chick but at the end of the day I see one person going in here knowing they have to be careful about certain things but still end up getting wounded and that's why he left he didn't leave because he was finished he left because he was wounded and he was trying very hard not to be detected in any type of way so that's what I have for the Idaho 4 case and the energy of the suspect, the night of the crimes. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.